Now, Darwin, I think, started us off on a bad track in terms of emotions. He said that, that emotions are mental states that we've inherited from animal ancestors. So fear, for example, would be this mental state that connects the threat with the response. Uh, the subjective fear is what we've supposedly inherited from animals. Now, the behaviorist, of course, treated um, the, the brain and, and mind as a, a black box. Um, and they got, but what's interesting about the behaviors is they got rid of subjective experience, but they retained subjective state terms like fear. Now, Tobin's intervening variables did this also. He, uh, he described non-subjective states that connect threats with responses, but he used a subjective state term, fear, as a name for the intervening variable. Now, when the physiological psychologists came along in the 1950s, these intervening variables became hypothetical brain states. But at some point when we learned a bit about the brain, areas like the amygdala became responsible for this. So as a result, the amygdala became a fear center. Um, but there are two views of this amygdala fear center. One is this non-subjective physiological state. Michael Fanslow is a proponent of this. Um, but with time, the behaviorist control over language lessened and fear became what it was in the first place, a state, a, a subjective experience. I think that's good, but the amygdala became the center of the subjective experience, and I think that's bad. So an example of this was, is uh, uh, Pangsep's idea of fear as, in the Darwinian sense, a, connect, a mental state that connects a threat with the fear response. So many people think that this is actually my view as well, that I think that there's some kind of fear state that connects a threat with a response, but actually, my views go back a long way, uh, since 1984, when I first proposed something like this, which is that a threat goes into the brain, or an emotional stimulus goes into the brain, and it uh, goes through different pathways to do different things. It goes to areas, subcortical areas like the amygdala to control these responses, but the, uh, the fear itself, I proposed in 84, was a cognitive state uh, that was assembled by regular old cognitive processes involved in other kinds of um, uh, subjective experiences. 